<gasps> Look at it. Now, some people appreciate the simplicity of a Mac. I appreciate having features and cooling. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to each their own, right? Okay, so what we've got back here is some ridiculous stuff. So things that would normally be cooled, like down here, we've got a dual 140 millimeter radiator with a couple of digital storms. These look like Corsairs. They've gotta be Corsair fans that they've like kind of put their own badging on. Um, hold on, I'm just gonna use my phone as a mirror and see if the hub has a Corsair logo on it. it. Oh, it's got Corsair, yeah, these, well, no, no, Corsair Link works with any fan, yeah. Uh, I just wanna get a look at it if I can. It's really hard though. The angle is not conducive to me seeing, go away, Bixby! Not now, Bixby! <laughs> I'm pressing the Bixby button trying to get in there. <laughs> just, you know, you gotta know when you're not wanted, Bixby. It's, not a good time, okay? Yeah, I can't, I can't see it right now, but they look like Corsair rebrands that they've just put their own sticker on, which is not a bad thing. Uh, so that's normal. What's not normal is that we've got this cooling fan that, remember, is almost right up against the glass panel. So it's kind of just recirculating air, cooling, I mean, hell, I don't know, um, this Corsair Link controller module, and then we've got this one that is actually dedicated, can, can you see this, Brandon? Come get an angle at this, on this. That's actually dedicated to the back of the CPU where it mounts to the motherboard. Um, because some motherboards actually do have heat sinks or VRM components back there, and normally they wouldn't get any cooling other than what they get through the copper material that the motherboard is made of, conducting heat away from them to somewhere where there is a fan or there is a heat sink. So they've got a fan that just blows down on that. That's it. That's all it does. That's all this fan exists to do, a 140 millimeter cooling fan. All right, then they've got some other really cool stuff here. And this, oh, I can already tell. This has got a, whoa, that was close. <laughs> I'm gonna move this, I bumped it when I was, uh, it's okay, I caught it, it's fine. Um, so this has got an uh, RGB strip down it, and this is one of the coolest things that I have ever seen done. So uh, we showed off um, the Spectre, uh, Spectre case that you could get with a similar kind of design, but this is that on steroids. So this is a water distribution panel that will be illuminated from the side that basically brings water from up here, wherever that goes. They've got this fascia piece that's making it kind of hard for me to see. So they've got a water distribution a block here that takes it from the top to the bottom of the system and then comes out wherever they need cooling throughout the rest of the system. Really cool stuff. They've also got this like power distribution PCB that they've created. This is their own custom PCB up here that I'm not sure exactly what it does, but um, we're gonna go ahead and pop this panel back on. In then meantime, we're gonna- How many people are watching? Uh, how many people are watching? 57,000. 57,000, is that a record? That might, be, that might be a record. Oh, we should probably co uh, cover our sponsor. Uh, uh, who, who's the first one? Uh, Memory Express, uh, what are my talking points? Is it about their new store in Victoria or their Uber price beat guarantee that uh, allows them to beat uh, authorized Canadian retail prices both online and in store by 10% of the difference? Go check out Memory Express at the link in the video description. Um, not now, not now, we can, we can do that later. For now I really wanna get this thing flipped around and I really need to focus on uh, doing it safely because I don't want to ruin this thing. So this is not gonna be the full review of this system. Um, it's just that this has been sitting here kind of staring me in the face and it's been in this epic crate and I really wanted to open it on camera and we haven't had a good opportunity so I figured we'll do a stream um, and then we will spend some real quality time with this thing evaluating whether the 48 pounds of cooling or whatever it is they have in this thing is actually worthwhile or whether it is pure, pure status symbol. I mean, at this point, why not both, <laughs> right? <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Sorry guys, it's just, it's taken me a little while to turn it around. I just need to be really careful. This thing is probably almost or as heavy as the mineral oil cooled machine there to give you guys some freaking idea.
Like it weighs almost the same as that, I swear to you. It's unreal. Okay, am I turned around enough? You got a good angle? You got light? All right, so now we get to see the goodies. Oh, it's fun. It's, uh, it's not just any system that, uh, that I can get sort of feeling anticipation for these days. Because yeah, I've seen a lot of gaming systems at this point. But the ones that combine being a gaming system with craftsmanship or art, uh, like the retro one that Intel had done up, those are the ones that are really exciting for me. Okay. So here we are. This is how their water distribution panel works. So what it does is instead of running all the tubing bends sort of up through the system, obstructing the view of the reservoir or the cards or whatever else, they've gone with this approach that allows them to have these straight runs that go down to exactly where they're needed. So we've got our, they're not labeled, but our inlet and outlet, one or the other, for our CPU. Then we've got an, can't tell, doesn't seem to matter. Once I flick it on, I'll be able to tell, but we've got our inlet and outlet for our graphics cards. So these are uh, plumbed up in serial. So it's gonna go into one, then it's gonna go through that block, over to the other through this channel that is machined out of this solid block of acrylic here. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's com completely clear, look at this. Come, 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 come. Look at this. They've done such a magnificent job of bringing this out and polishing the insides of it. This is a, an EK water block distribution block here. So it goes all the way over to the other card, through that, and then out the other side. And then this, this is what they're using their panel for. So it's actually a pass-through. Brandon, you're gonna have to get low here. This is gonna be a little bit challenging for you. But can you see up there? So that, that panel is just passing through the cables from the back to the front, and then they're using their own custom uh, individually sleeved and combed modular cables in order to access the graphics cards here. Huh. Now in terms of the spec, like I said, they actually haven't gone that crazy. So these are 2080 Ti's. Like I'm not saying this is a low end machine. This is as fast as it gets, uh, short of, you know, if you wanna spend a, well, I mean, Okay, you can afford one of these. Maybe you do go RTX Titans, I don't know. Anyway, they're not, it's not quite, but when they built it, it definitely was. But then they've gone presumably 9900K, and then they've actually gone for 3000 megahertz, 32 gigs of uh, just G-Skill Trident Z RGB. Like tried, tried tested and true RGB memory. That's it, that's all. Like no you know, 128 gigs of RAM or, or anything stupid like that. All right, now cooling. I told you I was gonna talk about the cooling system. So we had that dual 140 millimeter rad on the back. In the top, we have what appears to be a one, two, three, you gotta be kidding me. How many is this? Oh, I love this. Oh, come over here. Okay, oh, this is gonna be really hard to see, Brandon, I'm sorry. You gotta get down, you gotta get down, get low, get low, get low, get low, check this out. That is how that radiator is plumbed. They've got another one of their distribution blocks for it here. So that's the end, and the, or that's the, the butt end, and then this is the tubing end. So it comes out into this, and then goes out the back into that, back, that water back plane there. That is unreal. So that's a triple 140. We are now up to five 144 millimeter rads worth of cooling capacity. And it gets better, my friends, because down here, in a design that actually really reminds me of my old TJ07, down here, they've got a quad 140 millimeter radiator. And these are like, these aren't, the, this, really, this is a really funny design decision. Instead of going with the loose fin arrangement that is more optimized for slowly running fans and like okay temperatures, they've got a tight fin arrangement that is more optimized for faster RPM fans and just extremely low temps. Uh, they've gone with a D5 pump and res combo down here. So that's running there. They haven't gone with any fancy pantsy um, like coolant colorants or anything like that. Those are stupid anyway. Um, they eventually gunk up always, so you just kind of shouldn't use them. Water is the way to go. Uh, in terms of boot drive, I can't see what they've put in, but they did throw in a mechanical hard drive up here. I don't know what that is. It doesn't really matter. Point is, 
Let's find out how much RGB this sucker has, shall we? What do you guys think? Let's do it. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, no, I got one more thing to show you. Brandon, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. I'm counting on your excellent camera work here. But can you tell that basically the entire back of this thing is mesh? Mesh for the power supply. Mesh for the back of these radiators that are blowing in towards each other as far as I can tell. So it's just going to be passively exhausting out the back. Mesh here, mesh here, mesh up here. It's all mesh. It's all mesh. It's gorgeous. So all the cooling actually happens at the back because the front, as you guys might recall, is just that automotive finish and then both sides are tempered glass. You know what? I'm going to fire it up with this side off so we can see it full brightness because these are actually kind of um, like a ugh, crap. What's it called? Not, not, not tinted, but like a um, not darkened. Smoked. These are a smoked style of glass. So yes, tinting would be sort of an accurate word, but smoky is what the appearance looks like. So what that does is it kind of, it dulls the RGB glare a little bit, but still obviously gives you the personalization that you clearly desire because you got RGB stuff. Um, I'm having fun. <laughs> oh, I cut myself. That's okay. You can never deny that sweat, blood, and tears have gone into this channel. Now, we're not actually going to do any benchmarks or anything today. That is not the objective of this stream. We're going to save all of that for the full review. But I do want to just see it. Now, is there RGB built into the blocks? That is something that I do want to know. And I do think there is. Oh, hilarious. Check this out. So the cable management for it is actually quite tidy, but they've pulled right off of this RGB header up here on the top of the board, and then they've pulled off of a separate one for the, from the bottom of the board, and each of these blocks is individually RGB lit all along, uh, I believe it's the back here, or it could also be the bottom. I don't know, it, does, it doesn't, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Let's fire it up, let's fire it up. Ah, uh, where's the button? Ready? No, it's okay. It's fine. It's an Asus double post thing. They always do that. Okay. Or a triple post thing. Come on, baby. There you go. We got to get all that RGB initiated. <laughs> Come look at these cards. Is that something else or what? Oh, man. It's like having a neon sign in your graphics card slot. It's a thing of beauty. If you're into that sort of thing. Oh man, I love it. So, oh, where's, uh, where'd I put the remote? I think I stashed, uh, I stashed the RGB remote somewhere. So I'm not even sure which lights uh, this remote controls, because it won't be the ones through the motherboard. Uh, that's all going to be controlled by ASUS's RSync application. So that'll control the RAM and the graphics cards. And then the fans, I guess that would be through Corsair Link? I don't know. Oh, okay. And then, so you've actually got like a multi-zone kind of effect here. So you've got, holy crap, no, I lied. The front of the case does have ventilation. You've got another four bloody 140 mil fans in there. Are those 140s or 120s? I can't tell. I think they might be 120s actually. It's really, really hard for me to tell from here. Might be 140s and 120s. It looks like these three are 140s and that one's a 120 or maybe it's offset, it doesn't matter. The point is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Conveniently, they're all lit up for me. 12, 13, 14, 15. This thing has 15 fans in it, not even counting the power supply fan and the pump, which is arguably a fan. They're very similar in their design. Uh, okay, so you've got multi-zone lighting. So you can control your video cards, which I, I love the way that they've hooked that directly up to the RGB ports on the motherboard. Uh, you can control your RAM through the ASUS software. You can control your Corsair fans through their Link software. Then you've got your, like, sort of your back, your base mode lighting. So you got your green, your red, your blue. I like it in green. I think that's looking straight Christmassy. I mean, season's kind of over, but, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the, uh, the smoke panel on because I've already seen a peek at the back, and that looks really, really good. <laughs> oh. How hard is this to capture, Brandon? It's really shiny. It's okay? Now that 
is a machine for someone with their own butler. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, personal assistant, thank you. We always try to be very PC here at Linus Tech Tips. Get it? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't care. No more dad jokes in 2018. Yeah, yeah, no more. Oh, you think that's my New Year's resolution? <laughs> that is the last New Year's resolution. I'm resolving to tell more dad jokes in 2019. <laughs> All right, so this gives us a nice look at our, uh, our smoky. Our, our smoky color scheme here, or our smoky panel. You gotta come have a look at the back though, because that, uh, that water distribution panel that I was telling you was gonna look really good. Uh, spoiler alert, it looks better than I thought. So it's all illuminated on this side and it just catches. All, like, maybe I'm a freak, but I just find a certain beauty in CNC machine work. And just all those, all those like those bolt holes and catching the light like that. It just has like an industrial beauty to me. I absolutely love it. Um, and again, so that zone is controlled in the same as sort of our base case lighting along with all the digital storm logos and Eventimex branding and all that good stuff. Uh, oh, do people want to see what the light's off? Yeah, sure. I, I don't know if we want to go off, but maybe I'll uh, dial them down a little bit. Um, I think that one's only on or off. Isn't it, Brandon, the one with the big ballast? Okay, so we might have to kill, uh, that, kill that one. And then let's see what happens as we dial back the other ones here. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I, I didn't even think of that before we started. Uh, how's your lighting, Brandon? Uh, yeah, um... Okay. We can call that good. So I am really excited to see what kind of numbers this thing can pump out, what kind of cooling. I mean, this water should be damn near ambient temperature. Like, no matter how much heat you throw at, what is it, six plus three, nine by 140 millimeters worth of radiators. I mean, that's why this thing is so heavy. It's full of water. Like that's why it weighs as much as an immersion cooled system. They're both full of, I mean, that's mineral oil, this is water, but you get the point. Change it to red. Change it to red? Oh, sorry guys. There we go. How's that? You like that better? You like it? Here, I'll show you all the colors. But you know, I'm, I'm not partial to the blue. Not that big on the blue. Although it kind of works with the, uh, the yellow scheme that they've apparently